There are hundreds of ways to get textures for Blender or any 3D project, free libraries, paid marketplaces, even a Google Drive folder shared by some stranger on Reddit. But the process is always the same. Browse, compare, download, sign up, unzip, test, replace, repeat, browse, compare, browse, download, browse, sign up, unzip, unzip, test, replace, test, replace, test, replace, test, replace. But instead of digging through endless downloads, why not just make your own? All you need is a phone, a free image site, or your imagination. So here, I've got some photos I've taken from days out around the house, that kind of thing. Let's start with this one, a picture of my wooden door. I lined it up the best I could, but let's see what polysuite.app's PBR generator can do to turn this into a seamless material. So let's load up the door image and press edit. Right away you'll see when tiled, it doesn't look seamless, but we've got tools for that. And every image is different. So it's about adjusting until it looks right. First I'll enable seamless, crank that up a bit, then I'll hit blend, which helps normalize the colors and remove unwanted gradients and lighting. Already it's looking way better than before. Now I'll crop it and tweak the X and Y offset to find the cleanest repeating section. Once I'm happy, I hit save and continue, then generate. It usually takes anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds, depending on the image size. Smaller images are faster than high res ones. And here it is. I can rotate around it, adjust the tiling to see how it repeats. I can increase or decrease the displacement and normal strength. If needed, I can flip the normal map or invert the height. I can also click this icon up here in the PBR Maps section to see the texture tiled across the surface. Great for spotting issues before downloading. Once I'm happy with everything, I just hit download. And just like that, I've got the exact material I needed, built from my own photo. Now let's try a photo I took that doesn't look like it could ever be tiled. The edges and lighting are uneven, but this is where the edit tools really start to shine. We'll use the same process. Upload the image, press edit, enable seamless, normalize the lighting with blend, and finally crop and adjust the X and Y position to get the best section. Then I hit save and continue, generate, and in just a few seconds, I've got my own rocky PBR texture. And honestly, it turned out pretty good. It's scalable, tellable, and would definitely work on a Rocky model. Now let's do one more before I show you two extra powerful features. This time a simple patch of grass I photographed. And with the grass, there's no obvious structure which actually works in our favor. So I go in, adjust seamless and blend as usual. But now I can start rotating and skewing the image slightly, which helps break up any visible repetition or directional patterns. And of course, I can crop and reposition to fine tune the result. You've seen it before. Here's the grass PBR texture looking good. But now onto one of my favorite tools in the entire editor, the Perspective tab. Here's an image I found on Unsplash, a nice photo of some rocky cliffs, but when I load it in and press edit, it looks completely unusable as a texture. This is where Perspective Mode comes in. I enable it and now I get four corner points to work with. As I move these points around, the image is cropped and corrected in real time. The live preview updates and I can literally rip a clean texture from this angle. You can do this with any image, just make sure it's high quality because if you're grabbing a small portion, it can lose resolution. Once the perspective is right, I click apply and then finish up with the usual steps. Seamless, blend, maybe a crop, then hit save and generate. And just like that, I've pulled a clean usable rock texture from an angled messy photo. Looks great and I'd have no problem using this in a scene. Now for the final method, and this one doesn't even need a photo, it's the AI texture generator. Just type in exactly what you want, for example, ancient stone wall, and it'll generate a seamless material for you. This is especially useful for ideas that are hard to photograph, hard to find online, or just don't exist in the real world. This is a full workflow to make your own textures your way. No guesswork, no endless downloads, just results. Be sure to check out all the other tools and resources waiting for you over at polysuite.app.